एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल सो इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव बीन थ्रू द जेनकिस एजेंट जेनकिस वर्क स्पेस एंड जेनकिस क्रेडेंशियल एंड फॉर टूडेज वीडियो वी विल बी एक्सप्लोरिंग हाउ जेनकिस प्लग इन वर्क एंड हाउ कैन वी सेट अप इंडिविजुअल प्लग इन सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो हेयर आई हैव माई जेनकिस सर्वर रनिंग नव जेनकिस कम्स विद एन इंस्टॉलेशन ऑफ ऑलमोस्ट ऑल द रिक्वायर्ड प्लग इन बट इफ यू वॉन्ट सम मोर फंक्शनैलिटीज यू कैन इंस्टॉल एज मेनी प्लग इन you want in the jenkins and you can configure them uh, based on your use cases in our case the plugin which i will be installing is the blue ocean now jenkins come with this pretty basic ui uh, the white theme and everything now you can install the blue ocean plugin and you can enhance the view of uh, how that overview looks again the motto of the video is not just to use blue ocean it's that how you can set up plugin on your own and how can you configure them so let's get started now to install a plugin you have to go to the manage jenkins tab and which is right here and you have to look for the option named as plugins it is right here as i click on the plugin it displays us this ui where it lists all the plugins which are not up to date and uh, the another thing here is the available plugin basically these are the number of plugins which jenkins has and uh, we can install any of them based on our use cases then we have the option of installed plugins so here basically we have a list of plugins which are installed in our current jenkins server and you can see there are almost all the basic required plugins are already installed by jenkins now we can enable or disable them by clicking these buttons and the one which you can't disable are the ones basically which are dependent of uh, one another if you hover on this button it will display you this warning that or like the these are the plugins which required this to be installed apache http components now in the advanced setting here basically we have all the configurations when i say configuration it means like from where jenkins is fetching these plugins and where and like how uh, jenkins is able to download those plugins and how can we install our own plugin those all configurations are in uh, in the advanced setting now here the first option is to deploy a plugin basically if you want to deploy your own plugin to the jenkins server you can click on this button and you can select the plugin you want to install so usually all the jenkins plugins come in a format of dot hpi so dot hpi is the extension of jenkins plugin or what we can do is we can directly provides the file uh, path or you can say let's say your plugin is on github so you can directly provide the binary path you can directly provide the dot hpi file binary path here and here the update site is what matters so basically this is the url from where all the plugins are coming and if i open this url you can see uh, it has this json that has basically all these uh, these uh, tons of detail basically you don't have to worry about these it's just a list of plugins which are uh, uploaded or which are provided by jenkins from this url now uh, in some cases you might see that some organization do not support all the plugins available publicly because of security reasons so they create their own url which basically known as uh, update center this is the default update center from where jenkins fetch the plugins it downloads the plugins many organization do create their own update center and they can use that to provide the plugins now that's pretty much about the overview let's directly go and install the blue ocean plugin which will be uh, changing the entire user interface for us so available plugins and here we can just search for the plugin let's say blue ocean now you will be seeing there are like many more options which are saying that these are the rest api these are the common apis so the topmost is the one which we will be installing and all the other are basically the dependent plugins for uh, for blue ocean to be function properly now let's uh, click this uh, checkbox and hit the install button so you can select multiple uh, plugins if you want to install more than one and i am not selecting these because jenkins will automatically install the dependent plugins and hit the install button now see these are the dependent plugins which are required to install the blue ocean plugin so let's wait by the time they will get installed now after installing all the plugins you see this success or you see this kind of a notification that okay uh, this will affect on the next restart it means some plugins require jenkins server to be reinstalled 
before the changes uh, are applied to the same so if there is a failure then it will show a cross button here and say that there is some issue happened uh, with the same so let me go back to our dashboard and let me restart my jenkins server now let's wait until our jenkins uh, comes back and here it is jenkins is back again so the another thing is that you can directly uh, click on this checkbox which will be visible like after uh, the plugin installation that automatically uh, restart the Jenkins once all the plugins are installed. So let's say you are installing 30, 40 plugins and you cannot wait for them to be installed and then restart the same. So, so you can just uh, check this box and you are good to go. It will automatically restart. So now you can see the Jenkins is fully restarted and uh, we can also see that the changes we have done the plugin which we have installed is also giving us an option here now make sure not every plugin is visible here directly on the dashboard some are related to the job configuration so they will be visible uh, like in these sections let's say these option which we are getting to discard the builds these options i am getting that i can parameterize those jobs so these are all coming from the plugins in our case we have installed the blue ocean so we can just click on this button and now you will see so blue ocean basically is a plugin to customize the user interface of jenkins and now you will see i have an entirely different user interface for the jenkins here is my job now this is how the builds of the job looks this is how an individual uh, build looks and i can like this is again these are the uh, different options i have uh, based on the different user interface i can run the job i can disable i can check the branches and all those things and here is the button for going back to the dashboard now uh, let's go back to the normal view and i can just hit here i can go back to the classic view so this is how you can utilize the plugins now this is all about how you can install a plugin now let's see how can you uninstall a plugin so same we can go back to okay this is a job let's go back to the manage jenkins and hit the plugin tab again now you can see that in the installed plugins you can uh, either search for you it is directly visible here the blue ocean one so we can just uh, uh, like disable it or we can hit this cross button here to uninstall the same this will basically remove all the dependencies as well let's wait until it uninstall the same meanwhile let me tell you one more thing that installing every jenkins plugin from public can be like confusing that what are the features what are the latest release and everything so you can just click on the plugin name i am opening it in the new tab and it will redirect you to a page where it will list all the plugin information so let's say this is the documentation for the blue ocean plugin these are the number of jenkins clusters or jenkins servers had the blue ocean plugin installed these are the number of releases these are the issues and all the dependent plugins and health score and everything so most of these informations are coming from some of the informations are coming directly from github and some are coming from the uh, jenkins data so you can like check if the plugin is secure or not uh, by clicking the plugin name and once you uninstall the plugin it will be vanished or all the configuration file will remain on the jenkins but the binaries will be removed so yeah that's pretty much about how you can uh, install or uninstall plugins how you can set up your own plugin using the hpi file and how can you install that by url and how can you change the update manager or you can say like the url from where all the packages are being downloaded so thanks for watching